In downtown Huntsville for the next three days, you're going to wonder what's going on because it's going to be full of cars and people. The answer, the 2024 Association of the U.S. Army Global Force Symposium, simply called AUSA. That's where we find our very own Steve Johnson. Hey, Steve. All right, Carmen, we are down here. We've been talking all morning about uh, things built to protect soldiers, to support the Army, to uh, take a look at the enemy, all kinds of things like that. Well, there are some things designed to make soldiers actual better soldiers. And here is a perfect example of this. This is the booth of Mantis Tech. And if you're going to say what it is Mantis Tech does, what you want to do for the Army, what for the, all soldiers, what would it be? We want to make every show, soldier a better marksman. A better marksman. And, and you do that without firing bullets. We can do it both live fire or dry fire. Okay, so show me what, what you've got here and how this equipment works. This is, you said this is this is a, a, a weapon that a soldier would carry. Yes, absolutely. So this is a this is a, an AR-15, uh, very similar to the M14 that the soldiers carry into battle. Um, and all they have to do is take out their bolt carrier group and charging handle. The things that make it a, a rifle, that comes out. Yes, the parts that actually would... Uh, fire bullets. Fire bullets, <laughs> yep, exactly. So you just take that part out, put ours in, and it turns a firearm into a training tool. And it's okay. as simple as that. All right, so that is now a training tool. Show us, show us how it works. Sure, absolutely. So this is going to uh, allow the firearm to reset the trigger and it'll be the soldier's weight, break, and reset of their trigger. Okay. So that allows them to get a feel for what it feels like when they're actually firing the weapon. The part that uh, causes most people to miss is their trigger press. They tend okay. to make mistakes. And what we do is analyze that because we're tracking all of their motion all the time. And when we feel a break in the trigger, we go back in time and analyze what happened before, during, and after the shot. So I'll just take a few shots. Okay, so, so that was. What did you just find out? <laughs> <laughs> so that was 16 shots, um, and uh, it took. First of all, I can look at timing. It took me 3.5 seconds to fire those 16 shots. So is that is that? Would That's, a soldier would you want a, a soldier want to do that? Typically, that, that would be a little bit fast. Yeah. Um, so, I, for the demonstration purposes, yeah. I went a little bit faster. Uh, typically, soldiers are going to shoot in either one, two, or three round bursts, okay. and they're going to want to reassess after that. Okay. So, so this is about making the better marksman. What else do you know? Absolutely. So, what it did is, while it was tracking all that motion, it was also tracking my mistakes, and then we can give the soldiers feedback on what they've done wrong, and more importantly, how to correct it all without firing a bullet. Okay, is, is there, okay, so this is in use by some of the, some soldiers right now. Absolutely. And yes. the Marines are using this also. Correct, yep. Okay, is it making them better marksmen? Absolutely, yeah, we've got white papers that demonstrate increased efficiency and decreased, uh, sorry, increased accuracy and decreased, increased efficiency as well. Okay, so, uh, why are you here? I mean, you already, you, they're using your stuff. They're using this equipment. Do you, do you want them to use it more? We just want them to use it more, absolutely. So get more people exposed to it. Uh, currently, it's being used um, at the unit level and battalion level sometimes. But we, we're, our goal, of course, is to make it top down and part of the Army doctrine, okay. which would improve every marksman. Okay, and, and marksmanship is a huge part of being a soldier. Absolutely. Okay, so thank you, Grant. My pleasure. All right, Grant Lassar with Manus Tech. Just one more example at AUSA of things that are being done and they would like to do to help uh, the warfighter, the soldier in the field, and, of course, uh, make the Army better at what it does. Steve Johnson, live in Huntsville, live at the Von Brown Center. Back to you.